Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a demo for all of the brushes in my craft demo set. I'm really excited for this one because I used them all in my painting which is also the cover for my box in the set. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. This is one of my recent favorite paintings and so it feels really special to officially introduce my brushes through this as well. So we're gonna start with my first brush in the set. This is also the first one that I designed. This is my one inch flat brush and I designed this specifically to be used for the first washes in your paintings. As you can see here, it lays down beautifully on the paper. This thing holds a lot of water. You guys might notice that this painting is a little bit bigger than my usual paintings and so I really needed a brush that would hold up a lot of water so I can move it around on the painting. This one is also not as soft as the watercolor brushes in the set but I'm hesitant to say that because I feel like if you guys hear that you guys might have this um, stiff brush in mind but it's actually very similar to my other synthetic watercolor brushes just the softness of it it just feels different from the other brushes in the set because the watercolor brushes in here are just so incredibly soft and so yeah this one is not as soft as those but it still feels very much so like a watercolor brush and I just love this one for laying down water on my paper. It also makes it so that if ever you have different sizing in your paper, having a brush like this just really helps almost soften up that sizing. And so it's just great for the first few layers in your painting. Surprisingly, it's also good for glazing color after too, because again, it's still very soft. And I do do that later and I will show you guys then when it comes to that. But yeah, this is the first one in the set and I just love how this one turned out. The next one in this demo is my number 8 round brush and it's not the next one in size but for my painting this is the next one I used because I do paint some very defined shadows on her first so I needed just a smaller round brush and you can really see in this demo how even though it's the second biggest round brush in the set you really see how beautiful those pointed edges are in the shadows that I'm painting right now. All of the round brushes in this set have very defined points and so they're all amazing for laying down color but also good for painting finer details just like what I'm doing right now. And this next one that I'm using is my number 10 round brush and this one is a little bit bigger than my number 8 one. But you can see I'm using it here to lay down these beautiful sunset colors on her and on top of the very cool shadows that I've laid down with my number 8 brush. This one I just love, it's so soft. It's actually the same here as the number 8 one but I, but I use this more for laying down big plops of color just like what I'm doing right now and it's just so great for this because it holds a lot of water and color and so you can see me use it for not just laying down color but also for putting color on already wet paper and expecting it to spread across that paper naturally. And again because it is the same because it is very similar to my number 8 one, you can also get some smaller lines with this. It's just a very versatile brush, just like all three of the round brushes in this set. So the last round brush in the set is my number 4 round brush and it's really hard to pick favorites because for the usual size of my paintings, this one is what I use the most. Even though the round brushes were meant specifically for watercolors, they're incredibly soft like that. I actually use this number 4 brush for gouache as well when I'm in the second or third layers of my gouache paintings where I need a little bit more definition in my shapes. So even though I designed this for how I'm using it right now in this painting, putting in very defined shadows, I actually use this for gouache as well and just like all three of the round brushes in this set, this one carries a lot of water but I also use it for more defined details. This one mostly for more defined details than the other two but I used it earlier in my paintings as well. It's just very versatile like that.
So the next one in my set is my smaller flat brush. This one doesn't look very special, but I actually really love this one. Um, you can see me right here using it to paint water, even though I designed this mostly for gouache to really complement the stiffer brush strokes that I can get with gouache. I noticed while I was painting this that it was really great for painting water, weirdly. The most flowy element of the painting actually had a lot of very stiff lines and shapes on it. So I used it for that and I actually do end up using it a lot for watercolors more than I initially intended when I designed it. But I had gouache in mind when I designed this and this one and the last one I use a lot for my gouache paintings. The one thing I made sure when I designed this was that uh, I wanted the brush itself to be a little bit longer so I can pull longer lines with it. I just find flat brushes in this size typically with short hair so I wanted this one to be a little bit longer than normal and you can see that quality really made it great for watercolors as well. So before we get to the last one and my favorite of the set, I actually want to go back to my number 4 round brush because I want to highlight how good these round brushes are for details. So you can see right here the shadows on her face are very defined and so normally I would just use my smallest brush for this part but you can see the number 4 brush was great for this and also when I'm extending those shadows they're great for that the detail brush wouldn't be as great at doing both of those so you can really see why I love the round brushes so much in this set it's because of that quality to them I use them a lot for my watercolor pieces and I just wanted to have a whole section dedicated to all three of those brushes because I think they need that because they are the more common types of brushes that you would see in this set and so I wanted to dedicate an extra section in this video to show you guys exactly why that is and just how amazing round brushes are. And especially these ones, Craftamo is really great for making brushes that are this soft and holds up this much water and also is able to achieve these very sharp lines. The brush that I already have that I think is very similar to this brushes is my silver black velvet brush just in the way that it's so soft and it gets a lot of details in there but this one is a lot easier to control than my silver black velvet brush that one is still my most expensive brush and i've probably used it three or four times since i got it three years ago these ones i feel are just easier to control but also feels as soft and special as that And so the last one in the set is finally my number two detail round brush and I'm using it now to paint in the sharpest shadows on her face. Because this painting is primarily a watercolor piece at this point, as I build up in the layers, I also want to be more and more defined in my brush strokes. So this one is great for those smaller details. Even though the size of this isn't very special, I designed this one to be a little bit longer than the normal brushes in this size because this allows me to pull longer lines with it and so I don't have to cut in my details when I'm drawing them. But also it's not too long where it gets harder to control. I just feel that this length in the hair is perfect for this size of the brush and also it's my favorite brush in the set because I used it for my smaller gouache paintings as well. I just really love this one so much. And after that to finish off the painting I actually go back to my other brushes. The first one that I came back to is my flat brush. Again this is what I designed this for is to be used with gouache and to get very sharp and blocky lines with it to contrast the ones that I would normally get with watercolors and I actually think it worked a lot in this piece. I think it adds different texture to the painting. And so yeah, I do go back and forth with my other brushes in the set to finish off this final piece.
You can also see me glazing with my biggest flat brush, which I just love that I can do that because normally flat brushes are too stiff to do that and especially if you have gouache layers in your painting if the brush is too stiff it could move the gouache if you add looser paint on top so i really love that this flat brush is soft enough to do that and again with my other brushes i go back and forth into using them to finish off this painting but I just absolutely love this painting too. This one is gonna be the artwork for inside the box and so I'm so glad that I submitted this to Craft Tamo too for them to choose which one is gonna be on the cover and I'm so glad that they went with this one because I just really love the colors on this. It took me a long time to adjust her face just so I can get the emotion right because I wanted it to look serene but for most of the process i felt like she looked really sad and i didn't want that i wanted the vibe of the painting to look calm and also to have a lot of colors packed on the center of the box and so i really love how you get very warm colors that are hitting her and very cool colors outside of her i got this reference photo from graphic studio which i think was part of their mermaid reference pack and I'm so glad that I found this one because I think it's just perfect for the box and I absolutely love the colors on here. You can see me also adding in some gouache accents to the piece, mostly in the ripples of the water, but also to adjust the, her, the expressions on her face. And you see me then using my number four round brush for that, because I do use it a lot in my gouache paintings. Overall, all of these brushes are, are my favorite. Since getting these, I haven't used any brushes that much. There are brushes that I also love outside of these, but I haven't used them since I got these brushes. So I really love them and I hope you guys love them as much as I do. It was such an honor to work with Craft Tamo, who are proudly cruelty-free and I'm so impressed by these brushes. I hope you guys enjoy them if you do decide to order them. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will be seeing you guys again soon.